All right, guys, welcome back to Ralph's house. We paint from the heart. Now, I tell you what, we're having a ball. This is a place we just love to go. We load our families up on Sunday, make a picnic lunch. This is this painting work is for real, and this is probably one of the most photographed meals in the United States. Pull up the old water wheel at Berry College uh, on the internet or Google or whatever, and this is going to pop up. That's how beautiful it is. Well, it's in our backyard. We get to play here. That's why I love to paint this. You'll have something in your backyard at your house, and there's a, there's a unique, special place close to where you live. Do it. Put it on canvas. I wasn't real happy with this, and, and I'm going to cut this back a little bit more like this, and then bring it on around to the foreground. More like that. What that's going to allow me to do, that cast shadow there, that wheel should pull right up under here. Well, not cast shadow, but the reflection. Come in like this. That's going to allow me to catch some of that upright for that wheel coming in here. The reflection of that coming in there. A little bit of that roof coming across here. You know. So we're still, we're just drawing. And I tell you what, the more time you take, the more detail you put into your drawings, the better it's going to be. I cut that bank in, get that up a little bit. That bank's going to kind of go back up. And it lays pretty flat right down in here. Because this pond doesn't really ever overflow it's because it's controlled. There's just a little string that feeds into the base of this hill over here. That's going to help, them, help stand out the edge of that building, cut in our windows and our door. But again, we're just trying to get this drawn on here. It's got kind of a round step on it. And it is a step into a second one. Since the light's coming from behind, we'll, we'll know our lights. There we go, kind of catch that right there. I'm working with a great big brush right now, but that, well, that's fine too. We're just we're just trying to put things in place. It's got a little round stone set in here with the date that this was made, which was 1930. And the engineer involved and how they made this, and and they actually still use this to grind meal with. A couple times a year they'll crank it up. So this meal's still operational. At the edge of that house coming down over here laying flat. And there's a millstone sitting out here on the ground. We'll paint that into it. And the millstones are actually the stone wheels that grind the meal. You have one here and you got another stone laying out here. And it wasn't just decoration. You had to put these stones somewhere. Just lay them on the ground. They're not going anywhere. Nobody's going to walk off with one of their very big, very heavy wheels. And they actually had what we call stone cutters that would come and would shape those wheels to do what they need to do. And you'd, they'd wear them out. Well, they'd come get the stone cutter to come and he'd actually reshape the wheel again and put it back into work. There we go. Kind of getting our shape a little bit there, what we want that to be. The wheel's got a back side of that wheel over there because you got your axles going through. So you have the other stone supports on the other side. It's got a small low retaining wall on each side here. And where the water spills down into, into here from the, from the overflow. Just kind of get the shape of our wheel. The part we're going to see. Our spokes coming across. We're trying to define where this stuff's going to be because we're going to paint all over this again. Uh, so it's got the double spokes, that middle one there's coming out. I'm not worried about the detailed shape of this right yet because as we start painting, we'll, we'll, we'll paint over these spokes several times. Now when you think about it, that's just the spokes on this side of the wheel. You also have spokes on the other side of the wheel. And the wheel's coming up and turns like this. And you're seeing underneath there, and it'll be a spoke up on that other side, see. And that's just the way this wheel's made. And that's going to be up kind of there. So we have to kind of figure out where all these spokes are going to be, how we're going to make all that work. And we'll do that just by doing what we're now playing with it. A lot of shrubbery right down here by the water. That's a real steep bank, so they don't ever mow it over there. I can't get in there and cut it, so you got that shrub that grows in there. So again, some more brush, a little brush shooting up out of here. Little trees are right down next to the water. 
you know, cast reflections into the water. And, you know, the wheels will reflect into the water. Where's that this over here? I'm sure we get that in there. And this stair step right here is something that's very unique. And the way the water flows down, this, this overflow, the design was very beautiful. And we'll make sure we try to capture some of that in there. spilling over and cut, going down those steps into it. These are the kind of things, as quick as you can draw, that you could actually go on site, go to where these things are at, draw it, and then bring this back to the studio to actually paint. Shut aside. Got a little stoop right there. Coming on that side there. Well, that's more trees going up into here. And that's, got a lot of pine trees in this area going up through here. And the canopy's actually up here. Not right down at the ground, so I cut some of that in there and back there in the background. A lot of small trees. Uh, if you know anything about the trees in this area, there'll be some uh, sassafras, uh, little hickory saplings, or There'll be something down under there, so. And we got Lavender Hill back here. This is a pretty name for a hill. This is Martha Berry College. You probably named it Lavender Hill. I don't think a man would have named it Lavender Hill. <laughs> That's where the water's going up front. You got your. This is the, what brought the water to dump over the wheel, the flume. Had to be something to hold that flume up, but they actually put a support that comes to here. It's got outriggers that come, and some diagonals there, and it's got a, a diagonal that comes like this to support it. These are all the things that we're going to have to paint into here. And you know, we got pine trees going up into here. So I'm just using this real dark. I got this paint, and I didn't want to waste it. Uh, so let's cut in some pine. Trying to get the shape of everything, where we want her to be. That's going to cast right through here. Spokes off the wheel. This is going to be a fun painting to play with. We ain't there yet, but we're getting there. I want to work on this drawing real good because I want this to turn out real good. Y'all come. 